Orlando is a creative city and the food is no exception. Our city boasts five-star restaurants, James Beard award winners, and the best street food you will ever eat. Welcome to the Orlando Food Truck Guide. I'm Hannah Zook and this is the Little Blue Donut Company. <music> have so many great and delicious donuts. Tell me, how did you start? Well, um, he wanted to leave his full-time job and I was a stay-at-home mom, so I wanted to work. And we loved the food truck scene in Orlando and we had visited some donut shops and thought this would be a good idea for a food truck. And he designed it all and we had it built and here we are. That's where we kind of came from. Where did the name Little Blue Donut Company come from? Okay, so we uh, we started out under a different name, and uh, what was the original name? Sweet Street Donuts. Okay. And evidently there was a uh, a conflict with a company in another state who didn't like us being named Sweet Street anything. So uh, we went back to the drawing board and started kicking it around. And in passing with a friend, he kind of just turned and said, "I'm telling you, just call it the Little Blue Donut Truck," and he walked away. And we just kind of, yep, we it. said, yep, that's it. And that's how it came to be. Keeping it really in the family. You two are married, correct? Yep. Yes. And you have children? Yes. Yep. Aww. Do they ever work on the truck? Our daughter does sometimes. Yeah. What is your daughter best at? Making it or eating it? Uh, probably just taking the money. <laughs> <laughs> Why donuts? It hadn't been done before in Orlando. So we thought you gotta be something different in order to be really successful, so we thought we'd go with that. And I really like donuts. <laughs> you have a lot of really diverse flavors on your menus. Where did you get the ideas for them? A lot of late nights, uh, scouring the internet for ideas and just coming up with different flavors. And Basically, we just kind of think of things that we, the, the things that we appreciate in life flavor-wise and try and uh, come up with a way to turn that into a donut. And that's kind of how we've come up with most of them. We wanted to have some different flavors that not everybody has, and then also some really, you know, kid-friendly flavors like s'mores and stuff. For your dough, your really base of the donut, where did you get your inspiration for that? They taste so light and fluffy. We, uh, a lot of trial and error. We had mm -hmm. our family and friends kind of be guinea pigs and try them all out, and the one they liked the best is the one we went with. So well, how long have you been operating a Little Blue Donut Company? Since March of 2016. So the rumor in the bungalow newsroom is, is that you have a location coming soon. We do. Uh, it should be opening in the next couple of months, hopefully. So I can smell the donuts cooking. When are we going to get to eat one? Well, we better get in the kitchen and start cooking them. All right, let's go. complete and they are ready to eat. That one is caramel icing, it has pretzels on top, and then a peanut butter and a chocolate drizzle. God, it's just, it's just so good. This is a peanut butter and jelly. Obviously everyone likes peanut butter and jelly. Uh, this one's key lime, it has vanilla icing, white chocolate chips, graham cracker, and then um, a homemade lime drizzle. Thank you for joining us today on the Orlando Food Truck Guide. Make sure to follow Little Blue Donut Company on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter for updates on their new location and upcoming events. Mmm, that's so good. Cut. Good job, everybody. <laughs>